What do you make of um, Ashraf Ghani in all this? Because you've been amongst those who've come out very strongly in the, in the appalling way that he just left the country. Uh, he now seems to be saying that I had to do that because that's the only way I would have, the country would have been safe. And he's now uh, even trying to come back, maybe to get a piece of the action again. Uh, do you buy that? No, no, not at all. What he did was disgraceful, uh, cowardly, and selfish, uh, if I could put it mildly. He, um, there was an opportunity for a sort of a two or three week transition. Um, Dr. Abdullah and uh, President Hamid Karzai were involved in it. The, the idea was for, for them to fly into Doha, come up with some sort of a transitional arrangement. And the Taliban had vowed not to enter the city. And they, 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 they said that, that we don't have the capacity to manage a city hmm. of six or seven million people. Hmm. But what Ashraf Ghani did and his decision to leave hmm. triggered the total collapse of the system. Because as soon as a, the, when the leader leaves, no one else wants to hang around. So the policemen abandoned their posts, ministers hmm. left their ministries, immigration officers changed clothes. Um, and then all of a sudden we had this mayhem at the airport. And to this day, we haven't recovered from it. Uh, whereas it could have been a lot more orderly. Ashraf Ghani did the selfish thing. He tried to save himself. And this despite you know, many, many declarations, actually up until like a few days before uh, fleeing, that he would never leave Afghanistan, that he would rather die in Afghanistan than to leave. So it was even more shocking, uh, given his uh, sort of declarations, for him to have abandoned his people, his government, his right. closest aides, um, and fleeing to, I think, first Central Asia and then to, to the GCC.